Hey guys, I'm feeling super casual today, so I figured I'd do like a no makeup makeup thing and also take advantage of this moment to play around with some Glossier. So Glossier like reformulated and kind of redid all of their uh, shades for the skin tint and for their stretch concealer. And they did this a while ago. This is not, it's not something new. I was just always really happy with the skin tint that I had, the stretch concealer that I had, so I never really purchased it. But just recently, someone actually asked me what my like shade equivalent is in the new range since I am a medium in the old skin tint. So I thought I would just go ahead, place an order, see if I could get it close. And the concealer I got is close. So I wear a light 10 in the old stretch concealer. That's what this looks like. I used to also use medium, but I definitely like something a little bit more brightening. So I actually decluttered that one and kept the light. And then in the new shade, I got G11. And that is this. Oh, let me hold them side by side. That would be helpful. <laughs> so here is the light. And here is the G11. I feel like they look super close, but I will do a close-up swatch of these two side by side. So the light is on the left and the new G11 is on the right. I feel like the original light concealer is a little bit more peachy, where the new G11 is a little bit more neutral colored. So we'll see what that looks like on the face. I actually haven't tried any of these new shades out. I know I like the original formula. I know the formula has also changed a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. Now, the Perfecting Skin Tint, I picked up G10, and it is pretty different from Medium. So here is the new G10, and here is the Medium. So the G10, I don't think it, well, it looks a little bit darker, but it looks peachier, where the Medium looks a little bit more yellow. So let's go ahead and swatch these. I'll do the same thing. Medium, the old formula, will be on the left. And on the right, we have the new G10. Yeah, the new G10 is a little bit uh, more peachy. So it's kind of like, I, I don't know, I pick the shades that are almost like opposite. Like the concealer is less peachy, but the skin tint is more peachy, less, uh, less golden than the medium. So I think this was pretty good timing because I think my medium is a little old. I've had this skin tint, and this is my second bottle, and I've had this, I think, a couple years. I think I purchased this one right when I moved to Vegas. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, again, in the name of science, we're going to put medium on half of my face and the new G10 on the other half, just so we can take a look at the difference and see if we like one over the other. So I'm going to use the G10 first. I'm going to use it on the right side of my face. I'm gonna shake it up. You really wanna shake up these skin tints. They're very, very uh, watery. And I remember just drawing this onto my face here and using, my, whoa, and using my fingers to blend in. So I'll do that right now. It feels just like the old skin tint. It maybe feels a little bit more moisturizing, which I welcome for sure. So there is G10. You know, I think because these are so light, it almost it almost doesn't matter if you get a shade that's a little bit off because they're so sheer that so much of your own skin tone is gonna kind of come through anyway. So I think this one looks okay. Let's see if we can even see a difference with the medium. I'll do the same thing. And I'm glad they kept the same packaging because I like these little like paint tube. They remind me of like little paint tubes uh, from like elementary school. <laughs> All right, so there is the G10 and here is the medium. I think they look pretty similar actually on the skin, even though they look fairly different swatched and in the tube. But again, I, I think it's because this is such a light sheer uh, formula that it really, it, it kind of doesn't matter. You just need to get something a little bit close. Yeah, I feel like the G10 side is, uh, the newer side is a little bit tackier. I definitely feel like there's a little bit more, more moisture going on where the older side, as I remember, it's not, uh, it's just a little bit um, drier, a little bit. It's not drying at all or anything like that. Um, neither side is especially dewy or anything, but this side um, just feels a little bit more emollient. 
All right, so there is the Perfecting Skin Tint, and as you can see, it is definitely for like a no makeup makeup kind of day. It is when you are feeling pretty strong about your skin game, or in my case today, I don't really care. So let's move on to the concealer. So Stretch Concealer Light 10, the original, and then I got G11 in the new shade range. I'm actually not sure if these were reformulated. I think they were too. I'm not sure. I will put a note down below in the description box. I'll take a look at the Glossier site and see what it says. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and put light 10 on this side. Yeah, this is the side with uh, the old skin tint. This is a really, really emollient concealer. You can almost see the shine coming off of it. So I'm just going to tap it on. I like using my finger with this. I think a sponge soaks this right up, and then I think a brush, because this is so emollient, a brush actually just sort of like swishes it around a little bit. I mean, you can use patting motions, but I really like using my finger with this uh, with this concealer. All right, so there is light. You can see that there is, you know, a nice amount of coverage. Nothing, cra again, nothing crazy. I don't think anything Glossier does is like super over the top crazy. So let's move over to the G11 and apply that to the newer, side of my face. Let's see how this does. I also have a weird eczema patch coming up here. You guys can probably see it a little bit right here. Well, both concealers feel exactly the same. Um, so I can't tell by touch if the formula has changed at all. They feel exactly the same. The new one has like the same amount of like emollients. Um, I think they apply very, very similarly, if not the same. I'm surprised. I thought the light 01 would do a better job kind of, kind of like correcting the discoloration I have around my eyes because it's a little peachier where the G11 looks a little bit more neutral. But I think the G11 actually did a better job. Like I like the way this side of my face looks. All right, and before I forget, I'm gonna put on some of the GlossierBomb.com. I just have the original. They have a bunch of different flavors, but I prefer no scent and no uh, like flavor to mine. All right, I'm gonna apply some of the Glossier Cloud Paint. I have the color Dusk. This to me on my skin tone is like the most kind of neutral if I, I don't know, if I don't know what I'm doing with the rest of my makeup, this is what I will throw on. I'm just gonna dot some on. And then I'm using my Smashbox uh, Cream Cheek brush and just blending that in. I love these cloud paints. This is probably one of my favorite Glossier products. Even if you're not into cream products, you may like this cloud paint because it dries down to a pretty powdery finish. So it doesn't feel like you have something, you know, overly creamy on your face all day. It really kind of dries down. The texture is very thin. It's more of like a liquid blush versus a cream blush. And then I used to have all of the Glossier Halo Scopes, but I realized that this one, Quartz, is the only one that I use, so I actually decluttered the other two. I think one was Topaz, which is the darker one, and there was a lighter one, uh, maybe Moonstone? Anyway, I didn't really use those. I'm just left with Quartz. So this is just a really nice kind of champagne-y color. I'm just gonna swipe some on. This is a very emollient kind of, um, I think people think it's a little bit on the greasy side. Uh, again, I have dry skin, so I don't really mind. It just goes on really nicely for me. I know I'm gonna powder on top anyway, so I just kind of roll it right on. You know, it does a nice job highlighting in two different ways. Like it has the actual um, highlighty bits on the outside, and then on the inside, you get kind of like one of those balms. Uh, so you get like a glossy effect also. So I'm just gonna go in with my Chantecaille loose powder. I'm giving my Kogendo natural finishing powder a break today. <laughs> but this has a little bit of radiance like that powder, probably not as much. This one is a little bit matter. Uh, so I'm just gonna use this very lightly just to kind of set this concealer, especially this stretch concealer. I love it. I think it looks great as a complement to the skin tint, but because it's so emollient, it definitely moves a bit. So. Uh, gotta set that down with some powder. I don't have any bronzer from Glossier, so I'm gonna use my Lila B B Sunkissed Bronzed Beauty Bronzer. I haven't used this in a while, and it's so pretty, and it's uh, it's light, you know, it's a very kind of natural bronzer, and so I wanted to keep this Glossier no makeup makeup look going. So I'm using my Refer 06 brush, and I'm just gonna brush it on lightly just to warm up my face a little bit. 
think I'm going to tap a little bit more of this cloud paint just right onto the uh, like apples of my cheeks just to brighten up my face a little bit. I'm looking a little too pale. And of course, I've got to use my Glossier Boy Brow. This was my go-to brow product before I discovered the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel. Since then, unfortunately, I haven't used it quite as much as I probably should, but I have it in the color brown. Did I say that already? And it's got a super teeny tiny spoolie at the end. And I really like this Boy Brow. I mean, it's, it's such a good product. It doesn't get crunchy at all, which I can't stand. I don't like a crunchy brow. And the formula of this, at least compared to the Tom Ford, it's a little bit wetter. It's a little bit looser. The Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel is a little bit on the drier side, which I just find a little bit more mistake proof. When something's a little bit wetter, I always feel like I'm going to mess up. <laughs> I'm gonna get it everywhere. But because the spoolie is so small, it's actually a pretty controlled application. And I do really like this boy brow, I do. If the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel were to ever go away, I would probably just revert to using this again. By the way, all the rumors that I heard about the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel, apparently they're not doing away with this. So I don't know if they changed their mind. I also heard they were gonna be reformulating this. I don't know. Apparently they're just going to be sticking around with this. At least that's what the essay at the Nordstrom Tom Ford counter told me. We'll see. All right, in terms of eyeshadow, they have, um, Glossier has these lid stars and I have five of the colors. I think they have six altogether. I don't know why I don't have the last one. Anyway, these um, again are just very, very true to Glossier. They're uh, very light in application. They're sheer, they're not overly pigmented. And I think I remember when these first came out, some people were a little bit disappointed. I just think they're really, you know, nice and easy to use. They're nothing, they're not like this huge commitment, like those Stila like uh, glitter or shimmer and glows. Those are like, you know, you put them on and you've got a look going. So these are like a very much lighter version of all of those kinds of a cream eyeshadow. So I think I'm gonna use a mixture of Moon and uh, which one is this? Cub on my eyes today. So I'm gonna use my favorite cream shadow brush, which is the Sonia G Worker 2 brush. So it's the same exact shape as the Worker 1, it just has undyed goat hair, so it's uh, cream and liquid product friendly. So I'm gonna start with Moon, the lighter one, and just put this on the in, inner corner of my eye towards the center. Actually, I'll do one eye at a time. And if I remember correctly from the first time I used these, these don't set down completely. And I think I remember people complaining that it creased and it just didn't work out for them. And I don't generally have creasing issues with my eyeshadow because I just don't have, I don't have lids that really kind of like fold back. I didn't experience any creasing. And then next we've got Cub and I'm gonna put that on the remainder of my lid. I should probably have just done one eye at a time. I like to do that with cream products. You never know how quickly they set, but I do remember these don't set completely. They don't set down that quickly. So I think I'm safe, but I'm gonna try and work quickly anyway. So there's Cub and Moon applied to my lids, and I really like these lid stars. They're really easy to use. They're, again, not a huge commitment like um, some other cream shadows out there. I just, yeah, I like the subtlety of them. So I actually have a really, really old eyeliner from Glossier. It came in like this little holiday pack that they had. It was limited edition. It came in this really pretty box. So this is the Glossier number no. one pencil in graphite and it has uh, a sharpener at one end it also has like a little smudger and it's one of those roll up roll down eye pencils and it's a really cool color it's almost like a, a soft black with a little bit of a sheen it's, it's really pretty it's like graphite is actually the perfect color name for it because it it kind of has that you know when you like uh color something in with just a, num a regular number two pencil and it has that sheen to it that's what this looks like so hopefully this is still good because this is probably a couple years old at this point let's go ahead and oh yeah it's still super soft can you see, guys see that sheen and just gonna go ahead and line my eyes with this. 
I was really hoping they were going to come out with a whole line of eyeliners, different colors, this being one of them, but they never, they never went there. I feel like maybe I'm putting a little bit too much of this on for a no makeup, makeup kind of look, but <laughs> oh well. Okay, I just tore apart my room trying to find one of the Generation G lipsticks. I had the original one. They came out with two versions. The original one I didn't like. I thought it tugged. I thought it was really dry. I just didn't like it. And I know I decluttered that. But then they reformulated it. They came out with it again. And I am a thousand percent sure that I got one and I put it away. And now I can't find it in my room of horrors here. So I'm terribly sorry, but I do have the Glossier Lip Gloss, which I really, really love. It's like, it's so weird. It's like, it's nothing, you know, it's clear. <laughs> and um, does it even have a scent? I don't even think it's scented, but it's one of those, it's a little bit sticky, but it's got like a high shine. It just makes your lips look really super healthy. I love this lip gloss. I think it's so good. And I know it just, everyone's always asked me in the past, they're like, but it's just like a clear lip gloss. I'm like, I know, I, I really, I can't explain it other than it makes my lips look really healthy. It has a high gloss, but it's not, um, it's not like super goopy in any way. There's just a little bit, like a teensy bit of tack, but it's, it's not a lot of tack. It's not distracting. I just think it's a great, great clear lip gloss. Gosh, I feel so bad about that Gen G lipstick. I wanted to put that on for you guys. It's a very sheer formula, and I do think that they improved on the second iteration of it. It is definitely creamier than the first. Is it my favorite? It's probably not my favorite out of the Glossier line. Like I mentioned, I really like the cloud paints. I really like the halo scopes. I love this lip gloss. I love the skin tint. I love the concealer. Those are probably, oh, the boy brow. That's my top six, I wanna say. And I personally love the Lid Stars, but I always hesitate recommending this to anyone because of the soft effect it has. I feel like people want something a little bit more when it comes to their cream eyeshadows. I personally love these. I personally love the Lid Stars. But anyway, I thought I'd go ahead and end this video with the Glossier perfume, which is called You. You guys know how much I like um, like lighter, uh, fruitier, citrusy kind of scents. This one is not, but it's a very light, musky scent. And this is kind of the perfume that I'll go for in the winter time, which it is now. For me, I find it pleasant because, you know, it's still kind of uh, a musky scent, but I don't feel like it smells heavy. I still feel like it smells clean. Uh, that's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. And they also have like a solid version, which is so cool. So it flips open almost like the Lila B compacts it flips open this is like metal it's kind of heavy and then you have the solid perfume here so if you like the scent and you do travel a bit i think solid perfumes this one in particular is a really really great option for traveling so i hope you enjoyed this video something i should have mentioned at the beginning of this video it just slipped my mind i apologize but i am a glossier rep which basically means i'm a glossier affiliate so if you purchase anything through my link that i'll have down below i will earn a commission off of those sales if you are uninterested in shopping through my site you can just go straight to glossier.com not a problem. But I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, I hope kind of comparing the two uh, skin tints and the two concealers was helpful. Definitely leave any questions you have down below in my comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.